everyone in and welcome to our journey to Storybook Land. My name is Mark and I'll be your captain and storyteller aboard Meriwether. For your safety, please remain seated, keeping all hands, arms, and fingers inside of the boat at all times. And please supervise all children so that our story does not take any unexpected turns. Now, most people travel to enchanted places through the pages of a book, but for those who visit in person, whether it's down a rabbit hole or a little bit of pictures, you'll find they play magical or even medicine. But don't worry, even though it looks like we're traveling through the jungle of Moscow, we're actually being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Let's just stay right here. You feel that breeze? It's like perfect. Because it's going to be hot for the next like six minutes. <laughs> And like a lot of our stories here in Storybook Land, now start with a once upon a time. We'll start with the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. He lives in that cave coming up on the left hand side of the boat. He's constantly after those three pigs who luckily lived on an island across from him in three houses. One made of salt, one made of six, and one made of guaranteed of what first tricks. And as our story turns for the Stranger Things, we'll be headed to the Old English Village on the Alice. Where one golden afternoon, Alice followed the white rabbit down, 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 into Wonderland where things began to get curiouser and curiouser. Storybook Land is full of fantastic places, places like London Park where Peter Pan and their darling children all flew to Neverland, with help with Tinkerbell, of course, where they never, ever have to grow up. And directly ahead is the city of Agamal, home to Princess Jasmine, where a street ride named Aladdin stole her heart. Thanks to the power of love and the help of a genie, they were married, and they live in the Sultan's Palace to this very day. And their love shined, and just like the twinkling lights of the golden arches above, the very same arches that Princess Jasmine and Aladdin flew over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Love and light, they also have dark places like the Cave of Wonders, which treasures bear the curse that can only be lifted by a genie. Legend has it, if you set the genie free, he'll grant you three wishes. Let's make a wish and see if it comes true. And Snow White had a wish, and that was to be free from the evil queen, so she fled to the cozy cottage over on your right. And to thank her for her kindness, the seven doors granted her that shelter. And if you listen closely, you can hit a high ho Snow White. And over to your left is the blue chateau home to Cinderella, where she made a wish, which was to go to the ball. And when her evil stepmother forbid it, her fairy godmother granted her that wish. But when she unfortunately did not make it home at midnight, her carriage turned into a pumpkin that stays on that bridge till this very day. And even though magic has its limits, love is not, she still lives in that castle with her prince happily ever after. While some dream of happily ever after, some simply dream of sleeping on hills of closer flowers like the ones on our left, inspired by our 1933 Silly Symphony Lullaby Land cartoon. There is also magic everywhere here in Storybook Land, even in the miniature plants. Thanks to the enchantment of Tinkerbell and her magical pixie dust, these plants will never grow up like the Lost Boys from Neverland. <laughs> And that's what made it a favorite of the National Storyteller, Walt Disney, because it continues to inspire our stories here. <laughs> stories like the winds and the willows are bold, right? And Mr. Toad, all in that stately manner, coming up on your left. But sorry, folks, if you're looking for J. Thaddeus Toad, he is not home. He's currently in his motor car on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. <laughs> And just beyond that is the kingdom of Arendelle, home to Elsa and Anna. Elsa believed that her power was too strong, so she fled to the icy palace on top of the hill. And when Anna did not want to let her go, it showed Elsa that there was something more powerful than herself. The power of Sister Lua. 
coming up on your soon to be right is going to be the Alpine Village home to the woodcarver Geppetto where he made a wish for his puppet to become a real boy and when Pinocchio saved Geppetto from the belly of Monstro the Well, the Blizzard granted Geppetto's wish. Okay, Tom. But Geppetto's wishes are in a lot of our stories here, like The Little Mermaid, where Ariel followed Prince Eric to the castle, coming up on your right, where she gave up her life under sea to walk on unsteady steady and to become a part of our world. But her story actually began over to your left in the underwater city of Atlantica in the shadows of her father. And as the many out of interest spilled out, it eventually spilled out into a halfway of her after. And even though that's the final piece of magic for us here in Storybook Land, the magic here in Disneyland will never end. As we close the book and post the dock, please remain seated, keep it all hands off the figures inside of the boat at all times. And I'll be out for myself and all the other storytellers here. We would like to thank you for joining us. And we hope you have a magical day here at the happiest place on earth.